for following learning Jenkins is to create a Jenkins agent or slave on a Linux or uh, Unix or a uh, Mac OS X. So prerequisites for these are we must have already uh, installed uh, Java on the Linux or Mac OS X or Unix machine and we must have the Jenkins up and running uh, with logged in as admin user or having proper rights to create slave or agents. So for these uh, prerequisites you can just go through my uh, previous tutorials. So let's um, proceed to create a Jenkins agent or slave uh, using SSH method. So let's go here is my Jenkins which is up and running. Let's go to manage Jenkins. Manage nodes. Click on new node. Just give a name Linux agent. Yes, we can give any name here, any name of your choice would be fine. Just click OK. So we'll get a form which we need to fill for creating the Linux agent. So here, so here in the description field we need to, to mention why this agent is created so this is not mandatory uh, hash of executor means how many uh, jobs can be run simultaneous, simultaneously using this Jenkins agent or slave. Uh, for remote root directory, this is the directory where Jenkins, uh, uh, which is required by Jenkins to create uh, the workspace in this agent uh, workspace in the remote uh, uh, Linux or Mac OS X machine. So let's give it some. Let me check what all directories are here. Okay, let me give slash user slash Jenkins. Okay, label. So label is uh, just similar to the uh, Unix or Linux group, which has uh, which means uh, like like as as a group contains lot of users. Uh, so similarly in labels we will have uh, lots of uh, agents. That is a, a pool of uh, agents connected with the help of a single name. So that if we mention that the label it will call all the slaves so let's give it Linux pool usage and all I'll just keep it same use this node as much as possible launch method is by we have to select launch slaves agent by via SSH now here we need to give the host name or IP let's give the IP here which in my case is 192.168.0.104 now here credentials you need to if you have already saved the credentials you can mention it otherwise just go to add Jenkins and here you can you uh, provide the username and password for connecting to your uh, remote window uh, remote uh, Linux machine as I have already saved these things and in uh, so I'll just select from the options so if you have not done that just uh, mention the username password and from scope you can use like if you want just just for nodes only you can just select this and here you can type some uh, user auth slave so that whatever you type here it will display uh, it will display here like earlier I have displayed this so th th these things in the bracket it will display so as I have already created the user just select this option and yeah we can see these more two options uh, like environment variables and tools locations in the environment variables uh, you can mention java underscore home and you can specify the path in the remote uh, Linux machine where it is located 
uh, similar uh, so these environments will be picked up while the node is initialized or for the uh, for the particular job it will pick from the node or agent which we created tools location we can manif ma ma we can specify where our ant or git or those locations are here in the remote machine you can mention it here so uh, so agent will be initialized with these properties and it will initialize these variables for uh, uh, making it simple just we i am not passing anything just save it okay now let's go and let's uh, we have already configured the linux agency you can see here now just uh, click on relaunch and i think it's connected yes see we can see it's connected now linux agent so let's create a job and execute uh, something on it so just uh, uh, for creating a just uh, job just to the freestyle project sample job remote linux and click ok So in the job, as you already know how to create a job, uh, if you have gone through my previous tutorials, so I will not just go through those things again and again. Description created. Let's do it. Just execute shell. We will select this one because we are executing our scripts in the shell uh, in the Linux machine now. So let's do it. Echo. Hi, I am in machine. Yes. Save it. So our job is created. Oh, oh just just a minute we forgot something if you remember and if you guess it right uh, then yeah we are on track and it's it's good that you have figured out uh, so if you're not just let me tell you we didn't mention the slave or agent name where it should uh, trigger the job so by default if I would have triggered the job it would have run on the master node so this is the one and here we'll you have to mention the uh, slave name so let me check Linux agent so we have selected this save it and now we can run the job and we see our job is running and yes see we can see it has executed on the linux machine so from here we can see this is our agent on which it executed here we can see the label name 
and it has executed on this uh, machine and it has a, uh, a code so let's see what uh, let, let, let me explain you where it has uh, created the workspace and all in remote machine so we have to go to this directory in remote machine see here we can say uh, Jenkins has downloaded the slave jot jar this is the jar which is used for connecting uh, of the uh, which is used for connecting remote machine to your master and here it has created the workspace we can see see our job name is here which we created and it, yeah, it's nothing because we have just echo the command okay so let's move on and uh, try one more thing that is uh, uh, running uh, that is that is creating a slave as, as, a, as a java web start command in linux uh, uh, platform so for that you just need to go and you just need to select uh, launch the agent via Java Web Start, and you need to save it. Let's disconnect it once because we have used the same node using SSH, so it is already. So we can use our so we can use this one for actually connecting uh, to our slave and it should work this time see we can see it is trying to connect now and I think it will be able to connect this time it was because uh, uh, my Jenkins is uh, running on localhost with you know on my uh, PC and here localhost in uh, remote agent is different so we can see yeah this job is connected so you can see one more thing if I if this machine shut down so or if I do control C and it is disconnected from here slave will be disconnected from here also so for that in Linux we have a command no hub for running it in background just paste the same thing and just ampersand and uh, then enter two times so now it will be running in background it will take some time for it to connect yeah it's connected now so I think it should be connected here yeah we can see it is connected here so our tutorial is uh, complete for uh, Jenkins agent uh, uh, creating Jenkins agent slave on Linux Mac OS X using SSH method and Java web start method.